Hello, this is Jill from Paper Daisy Crafting. Just popping in today to show you how to make this little card. I hope you're all well. I hope you're all socially isolating and self um, social distancing. What strange times we live in, hey? Um, okay, so this is our project today. Um, I made this for a blog hop I was in, which was, um, the theme was Let's Hear It For The Boys. So I made a, a male themed one in gold and black. I'm going to make a female themed one today to show you how you can use the same design, but make it a bit more girly. Um, so what are we going to use? We're going to use, we're going to can you use um, uh, Purple Posy, pa very lovely pale purple, pale lilac card, one of the new in colours. And we're going to use um, Best Dressed, some of the Best Dressed pattern papers, this one with the lilac on. And we're going to add a little bit of um, Highland Heather as well. If I can find that, there it is. A little bit of Highland Heather, which is going to mount on it. White bag, and then the candles are going to go on there. So let's show, let me show you what to do. So first of all, I'm just going to move some things out of the way so I don't lose them. Right, first of all, the card blank, which measures 21 by 14 and a half. And we're going to score at 10 and a half. If you're working in inches, it's eight and a quarter by five and three quarters. And sorry, I forgot then. And you're going to score at four and an eighth. There we go. Score that one. And we are then going to put little bit of um, um, pattern paper on the bottom of this. Your pattern paper you need to cut so that it measures, covered up my measurements, hang on a sec, where have I written them? DSP measures, so it's got to measure 10 and a half to go across the card, but I would cut it to 11 so that you've got a little bit to trim off by seven and a half. So I'm just gonna do that with my little mini trimmer. So seven and a half, which is the depth, and then I'm going to do it at 11, which I can just about do on this mini trimmer. There we go. That's my piece of DSP. And all we're going to do is we're going to mount that on there and then trim it off. Love these together. Lovely colours. Much more my colour scheme than the black and gold one, I have to say, although black and gold does look quite elegant. Um, there you go. We're having very strange times, as I'm sure you all are, wherever you are. If you're in the UK um, or if you're in America or Australia, I think everybody's got the same lockdown measures in place at the minute. It's amazing to think that this little virus, little microscopic particle is causing so much havoc all over the world. It's just amazing. Um, but I do keep thinking that all, how, however horrible it is, at least it's not a war. Um, so, and also how lucky we are that we've, that certainly me and my friends, people I know, have got houses and gardens and enough to eat. Um, so I just keep trying to count my blessings. Right, there we go. That's our card blank. And now we're going to do the panel. So we've got a panel of he uh, Highland Heather. And we've got a panel of Whisper White, which is going to mount and go on here like this. But first of all, we're going to do all the stamping and um, embossing. So I'm going to take a piece of Whisper White card. And I'm going to try and find my, there it is, my embossing buddy to start with. And we're going to do a little piece of, little bit of heat embossing. So just rub your embossing buddy over the... Um, Card stock. Come in with your Versamark pad, and this is the stamp we're using, which is like the candle one from Bonanza Buddy. So it's this one here. Um, so we need three of those. So this is not going to be the pan. We're going to cut these out, so you don't need to be too precise about whether they're straight or anything. There we go. And then I just want one of the Happy Birthday, which is from Label Me Bold. Like so. There we go. And then just going to bring in my silver embossing. And see my stand has dipped down again. Let's try and put that up a bit. I'm going to have to do something 
with this later it just keeps sinking as I'm videoing um, can't get it to stay in one place um, where to put my piece of card there it is so just sprinkle some got it the wrong way up didn't know where the embossing was there we go now I've got it all over my fingers give it a good flick Mm, I might have to do that um, label me bold again. That hasn't come out very well. Let's try that again. I think I smudged it with my finger when I just picked the card up. So let's do that again. Let's hope that's a bit better. Be careful not to get your fingers on it. There we go. And you can see there's still some embossing powder sticking, but because we're going to cut these out, that doesn't matter. So I'll just bring in my heat gun. And heat these up. See the magic of this turning again. I love it. I might have to hold this with my tweezers in a minute. It's a bit small for me to... It's getting quite warm. Oh, here we go. It's turning. There we go. That's a happy birthday. I will just finish that one so the powder doesn't go, but it's not very clear. And then this one. I do love these Label Me Bold um, greetings. I think that's a really lovely set. There we go. Right, and what we need to do, just let that cool for a second. I'm just going to put the lid on my embossing powder so that I don't end up spilling that everywhere. And then we're just going to take some scissors and we're going to cut the candles. And because they're nice and straight, they're very easy to fussy cut. Like so. And another one. Oh, see, the stand has sunk again. I really am going to have to sort something out with it. I'll have to do a little bit more practicing. There you are. They are. It's an Archon stand, which is quite new to me. It means I can use my phone for videoing rather than using my camera. But it's not the easiest thing to manipulate, I have to say. I was hoping it would be so that I could move it from facing me to down to the... Um, table so that I could do some Facebook lives with me going face to camera and then moving it but actually it's very tricky to do that and get it to work unless any of you out there have little tricks that I don't know about if you've got one I know they're very popular with stamping up demos right okay it was actually a, a belated Christmas present, my Archon stand. I got some money for Christmas. When I, went, when I went to spend it on an Archon stand, it was out of stock, so I had to wait a little bit longer for it. Right, there's all my bits and pieces. So here I come with my panel. Just a reminder, this is the card that we're making. So what we're going to do is we're going to stick the happy birthday there somewhere. We're going to stick the candles here. And then the little bobbly bits, which are going to stand in for things. I've already heat embossed and die cut. But I don't really like die cutting on camera. It's too bulky and gets in the way and moves everything around. Um, right, okay, so I need some dimensionals. Let's find my dimensionals. And what I did with this one is I used some borders. So I've still got a few borders left here. So... Rather than waste these little border pieces, you can use them for projects like this, where you need a longer piece. There we go. Like so. Um, let's use this little bit. And one more. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this bit because it's a bit thick. I'm just going to cut it so it's a bit thinner. So don't waste any of your dimensionals. It's too long. Um, use every last bit because they're not cheap. I mean, they're not expensive, but they're not, you know, you don't want to spend your money on those when you could be spending it on stamp sets or pretty paper or whatever. Okay, and then we just need... I can find my tweezers. No, they've gone as well. Oh, there they are. Just going to take one dimensional and put on the back of each of these little bobbles. Mount them on my panel. 
like so. There we go. And I was going to record this video this afternoon. And my husband, who plays guitar, plays in a band normally, and of course they're not out playing, but apparently they've got an online concert going on tonight. So he was rehearsing and his study backs onto mine. So I couldn't hear myself think. Um, yet about to record, I thought I'd get done for royalties or something if he, they could hear him, because he, does, he doesn't do his own songs, he does other people's songs. So I had to wait until this evening, and he's told me I've got another 15 minutes, and then he's going to be at it again. So I'm trying to get this done before he starts up again. I mean, it is lovely. I do like hearing him play, but not when I'm trying to record videos. It's bad enough anyway. The room that I record in is actually our utility room. So if I've got washing on or the tumble dryer on, I'm competing with those as well. I have to turn those off, pause them while I'm recording. So I could do without the musical accompaniment as well. There we go. And one of, one of my followers was asking about how my mum is doing. Um, some of you will know that my dad died just before Christmas. My mum, who has dementia, couldn't be left alone on her own anymore at home. So we had to find a care home for her. And of course, she was she was beginning to settle. She hadn't settled very well, but it was three months in. She's beginning to settle. And now they've had to close the home, shut the home down so there's, we can't get in to visit her. And they've also had to move her room because she's a wanderer. She keeps wandering in and out of people's rooms and they couldn't have her doing that. So they've put her in an area that's a bit more secure where she can't do that. So I'm really beside myself. would really love to go and visit her, but sadly can't at the minute. And I know it's for her own protection, but of course, with the dementia, she won't understand that. Right, there we go. That's going on there. So just a little bit of Tombow. Very easy little card, this one. That's my phone clonking. There we go. Oh, he started up. I'm hearing playing his guitar. I don't I think it's quite quiet at the minute. He's obviously being quiet for me. So there we go. And that's going to mount onto there. There we go. There we go. I don't know if you can hear it in the background, can you? You might just be able to vaguely hear him. I can hear him. Right, there we go, and there. Same design, same stamps, different DSP, different, it's not quite straight, different, there we go. Female version and a male version. I have to say, I like the female version best. I love this purple and I love this DSP. Quite like the silver as well. Hope you like that. Um, I'll be back. I'm trying to get up to date and do lots of videos because I know lots of people have got a lot of time on their hands. So I'm trying to keep you all occupied with lots of videos. So I'll be back soon with another one. But thank you for watching today. Um, 1st of April today when this is going out. And we have a new suite, Ornate Garden, um, which will be available to customers today. You can pop over to my online shop if you go in the, um, in the thing. Oh, this is really sunk down. Oh. I'm going to have to sort this out. Um, um, anyway, that's it from me today. Hope that the, the stand sinking hasn't discombobulated you too much. I'll try and sort it out for next time. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Bye.